Procreate is a perfect tool for artists if you know how to use it. Here are 20 quick tips to help you get the most out of Procreate. Let's go! You can create a colour palette out of an image. Open up your photos and drag it into the colour palette. And no matter how many times you drag and drop the same reference image, your colour palette will always be a little bit different. Click on the colour wheel and head to Colour Harmony. Here you'll be able to see complementary, analogous, triadic colours and more. Pin your brushes to your favourites. Just head to the brush you want to pin, swipe left and click on pin. Swipe left and hit find to see its original pack. You can only save 10 brushes at any time, so hit unpin if you want to remove it from your favourites. If you want to save the brush settings, click on the plus icon. And to remove them, click on the minus icon. If you slide down your canvas, you'll bring up some copy and paste settings to duplicate and move the items in your layers around faster. If you want to remove this line in your filled in line art, drag the colour into the shape, drag to the right to adjust the full threshold. Did you know that you can create your very own signature as a stamp? Head to the Actions tab and click on Copy Canvas. Then click on the Brush tab and the plus icon. Head to Shape, then Source then import and paste. Click on properties and use stamp preview. Did you know that you can detach your colour wheel? Just grab the little line and drag it to wherever you want on the screen. A four finger tap on the screen will hide the control so you can focus on your drawing. If you have the scribble switched on in your settings, you can rename your layers by writing them in the box. Make a mark and can't find the layer? Go to Gesture Controls, Layer Select, and then Touch. Pull out the brush scale, you can move it around the edge of the canvas. Pinch the colour sphere to remove the colour wheel. A three finger swipe will erase everything in that layer. Hold down the layer and all the other layers will close. Now, before I get to the top five, would you mind hitting that like button if you're enjoying this video so far? Hit that subscribe button too so you can keep up to date on all my future content. Click on the wrench, canvas, and then reference. Find your reference image and import it. You'll now be able to keep a floating reference image to help your project. You can copy layers from one project to the other. Just swipe left on the layers you want to select, drag it into your gallery, and drag it on over to the project you want to copy it to. By turning on Page Assist, you can create your very own digital sketchbook. If you want to draw a polygon with nice clean edges, draw your shape and keep holding down. Eventually your shape will snap to a polygon. This also works with lines and scribbles that you want to convert into clean straight edges. If the brush size and opacity is scaling a little bit too quickly for you, Drag your pen to the right and move up and down. And that's 20. Let me know what you think in the comments below if I should make more videos like this next. Hit that like button if you enjoyed this video and don't forget to subscribe.